Hey guys, Nash here. So one of the most advanced camera app Gcam has the new version available which is 7.3 and in this video I will compare it with previous version and will show you what's new in this one and at the end of this video we will also explain you how to install this step by step in your phone. So let's get started. So first of all, let's have a look what's new here. So basic look when you first open the app is similar. You got your portrait mode, your night side, which you can then convert to SO photography. I will show you the side by side comparison for that also. I will also show you what's new with SO photography feature. So all this looks same, but when you tap on more, before you used to have panorama, photosphere and time lapse only. And now we can get slow motion and Google Lens feature. Slow motion can now take 240 FPS, which is amazing. So now let's swipe down and here you can see they have added Google AWB, also known as Auto White Balance, which helps taking good photos in the night. It's an algorithm by Google that take amazing photos in the dark. But I'm surprised to see still there is no 5 second timer. Is it the 3 second or 10 seconds? Now let's tap here on the settings. And there are some new features. Now you can shoot video 4K 60fps. But if you enable EIS, means electric image stabilization, it will be locked at 30fps. Night mode is now connected to HDR Plus. So you will get more crispier photos in the dark. And then we have new feature called frequent faces. What it does it, it prioritize when the focus is on frequent face. It means this smart camera algorithm knows your family member when you take the photos. And there is do not disturb while using Gcam. Now you can choose not to take full resolution photos and use medium resolution to save some storage on your phone. At the end there is video stabilization which if you enable again you will be locked to 30 fps on 4k recording. Now let's tap on this advance here. So in the advance they clear many unwanted things to make it simple. Now it's much simple and easy to understand. Now let's talk about astrophotography. Just like previous version is hidden and you won't find unless you know what to do. So when you open your camera app go to nice side and you must have tripod or your phone must be 100% steady. And then tap on this button and algorithm will find out if the phone is steady. So with this new update, it will clearly show you the actual time it will take to capture one astrophotography image. Here as you can see I took my tripod outside and took some photos with night side and took some photos with astrophotography feature and the results are outstanding. You can use astrophotography feature to take some amazing shots in the dark. And now let me show you how to actually install this Gcam. So go to link in description and download this same APK. Make sure you have 7.3 written in the APK name. Then go to your phone setting and go to your about section and tap on this build number 7 times. And then you will see the developer settings are now available. Once it's available, go to developer settings and then enable USB debugging. And then scroll down and enable this Force 4X MSAA. Now go to setting and go to security and tap on Google Play Protect and disable these both options. And now go to your download folder and install this APK. Once it's installed, now you have new Gcam 7.3 to take some amazing photos. So like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel and I will see you tomorrow.